Hi, this is Leanne from Global Media Networks. But this is Roundup for the day. Let's see that the details of the Hikaru Beach Resort Limited IPO was as follows. The number of applications received was 54. The number of shares applied was 112,000. And the total value of shares applied was 2. Uh, 2,240,000. Now, for the, the IPO of the Hikari Beach Resort Limited was opened on Wednesday, the 24th of October, and 5,757,390 shares are in issue for subscription at 20 rupees per share. Now, the minimum subscription per application is 1,000 shares. The issue will be open till the 15th of November unless oversubscribed on the prior date. We also see that the Khan Stock Brokers Association, a group representing the majority of stockbrokers operating in Sri Lanka, has welcomed moves by the securities regulator to relax credit rules and allow brokers to trade in their own names. Now, the consumer price. Um, the consumer price inflation in Sri Lanka's capital Colombo slowed to 8.9% in the 12 months of October from 9.1% a month earlier. Now, data from the State Debt Office showed as credit tightened after a balance of payment crisis. We see that the Sri Lanka's Treasury yields rose across maturities at Wednesday's auctions with 12 month yields rising at as much as 8 basis points to 12.56%. Data from the State Debt Office showed that the six-month yield rose seven basis points to 11.97%. The three-month yield rose two basis points from two weeks ago to 10.68%. Sri Lanka's economic growth is likely to recover to 7% in 2013 after, after showing a 6.5% in 2012, helped by uh, Chinese loans and domestic consumption, while new risks Emerging brand ratings are rated in said. We also see that the People's Leasing Company, the country's largest leasing firm, is paying a billion rupees commercial paper sale, which has been given a short term F1 positive rating, which ratings said. Looking at some more news, we see that the proposed establishment of the Sukuk program, Board of Directors of Dialogue, has duly approved the proposed establishment of the, of the Malaysian Ring of Dominated Islamic Medium Term Note program under the Saudia principle of Marabaha, Murabaha, uh, of up to uh, 1.2 billion Malaysian ring of nominal value with a tenure of 15 years in Malaysia. Now, pursuant to the above, the company may, under the Sukuk program, issue Sukuk Murabaha from time to time evolve, involving selected Saria companies commodities. Now, it is, it is proposed that the proceeds raised from the issuance of the Sukuk Murabaha shall be utilized by the company in compliance with Saria principles for the following purposes. Number one being the refinancing of the existing debt and Sukuk issued under the Sukuk program. Now, payment fees and expenses in connection with the refinancing of the existing debt and Sukuk program. Also, the funding of investments, operational expenses, and capital expenditure. Also, the working capital and uh, the corporate funding purposes. Now, it is subject to approval of relevant regulatory authorities in Sri Lanka and Malaysia. And the completion of the proposed establishment Sukuk program is subject to market conditions and investor interests. We see as no binding agreement in relation to the above has been entered into as this state of announcement, the above may not as we realize. We also see a few more uh, announcements. We see that the Nations Trust Bank, Mr. Ronnie Hughes, Chairman, has announced his resignation from the board with effect on the 31st of October 2012 at a board meeting held on the same date. Now, further, the board has unanimously resolved that Ms. Ogunaratna be appointed as the chairman of the board with effect on the 1st of October 2012. The board has also resolved to appoint Mr. S.G. Singer as the director of the bank with effect on the 1st of October 2012. We also see that Dan Couture Fossilin, uh, Mr. K.S. Manawarachi, has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer with, uh, of Don, Don Couture Fossilin with effect from the 1st of October 2012. We also see that uh, Mr. V.P. Manarasekara uh, of Carson's Cumberbatch seems to be the alternate director to Mr. F. Mohideen with effect from the 23rd of October 2012. We also see that Ms. J. Alice and Mr. R and, and Ms. R. Tenabandu of Lanka Ventures have been appointed as non-executive directors of the company with effect the 1st of October 2012. 
Lastly, we see the Sri Lanka Dialog TV subscribers top 250,000. Now, Dialog Television is direct to home pay television service run by Sri Lanka's unit of Malaysia, Asiata Group, said that subscribers rose 50,000 50, over the past year to top 250,000 by the end of September 2012. Revenues had grown 29% to 2.2 billion rupees for the nine months ending September 2012. Earnings before interest, tax, depre tax depreciation, and amortization grew 32% to 498 million rupees, the firm said in a statement. The Dialogue TV, Dialogue Television, has lost 13 million rupees during the September quarter, which the firm said was due to the cost of launching a high definition services. But during the nine months to September, it had made an up tax profits of 96 million rupees against a loss of 23 million rupees a year earlier. With that, I round up the news for today. Thank you very much for listening and see you again on Monday.